you want to create a free website for yourself in this video i will show you how to create a free website that looks like what you're seeing on my screen as you can see for yourself i was able to create this website absolutely for free and i'm going to be showing you how to do the same for yourself and as a bonus tip i'm going to be showing you how to create a store directly on your website so if you want to sell anything and you need to create the store i'm going to be showing you how to create that here on your website absolutely for free so if you're really really happy watching this video please make sure you like this video you subscribe and do me a favor by dropping me a nice comment in the comment section box below so once you've been able to do that i'm very grateful for all you've done so let's get into it all right so the first thing you have to do right now is if you want to create a free website for yourself you need to come over to blogger.com all right so we're going to be making use of blogger.com so once you are here on blogger.com all you need to do is you want to click on create your blog so click on create your blog and what you need to do next is you need to sign in with the email address you want to use in creating your free website so for me i'm just going to use this email address here to create my free website on blogger.com so all i need to do right now i need to put in my password so you need to do the same thing for yourself all right so once you are signed in already all you need to do right now is you can see this thing or you need to just you want to ignore this right and what you want to do right now is you want to put in the name of your blog and this is something you can basically change later on right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put in a random name because i can can change this later if i want to so i'm just going to put something like um um demo website for youtube right so something like that would be good because i can actually change this when i'm ready so um this is actually working good so demo website for youtube i'm going to click on next all right then the address is going to be anything at all so i'm just going to use the same thing because i can change this later in the future if i want to demo website for youtube okay good that is actually available so i can click on next to use this one as well then the display name is going to be demo websites right so quickly then i'm going to click on finish so once you've been able to input all of those things you're ready to start creating a free website here on blogger so what we need to do right now is we want to click on finish all right so once you are here you should know that this is going to be your back end okay this is where you're going to be doing so many things like editing and you know doing stuff to make sure that you have a good looking website so what we want to do right now is we want to take a view of what our newly created website looks like so let's click on view blog to see what this website looks like so i'm just going to click on um open this in a new tab to see what it looks like all right so you can see this is actually what the website looks like but if you look at it it is actually what uh you know i'm um, not good looking right it is not good looking and we want to create something that looks like this remember we want to create something that looks like this so what we need to do right now is you need to pay close attention to everything that i'm going to be saying right from this moment so what you want to do is i'm going to be leaving the link to a free website where you can basically download a whole lot of website templates that you can use for your blogger website so if you want to have a good looking website you need to make sure you have a good looking template so what i'm going to do i'm going to deliver the link to this website down in the video description for you to have access to thousands of templates that you can use for yourself so you can see here on my screen i have a whole lot of templates that i can use for my website so all you need to do is you want to play around and you need to find something but that basically resonates to what you want to create so for me i'm just going to be working with this one and you can see this one that says so you so i'm just going to click on this one i'm going to open this one up all right so you can see for yourself this is actually what the website template looks like so once you like what you're seeing and you basically want to make use of this um website template all you need to do is you need to go back all right and you want to download this into your computer so let's say you're making use of a mobile phone and you're asking me if this is actually real if you can do this on your mobile phone i will tell you the truth yes you can do this on your mobile phone but i tell you that it's just going to be a little bit stressful right a little bit stressful but if you are persistent like if you really want to do it with your smartphone you can basically use this on your smartphone and you're going to be creating a website for yourself as well absolutely for free right so what you need to do is you want to click on download this template so once you click on download this template it's going to get downloaded into your computer so i'm going to click on download right now so you can see that i have um, um i have the template download this what i need to do right now i need to go over to my file manager okay and i'm going to look for where i downloaded the template into i'm going to go to my download folder all right and you can see i have the template here so what i need to do right now is you can see that this is already in a zipped file right so what i want to do is i'm going to unzip this so that i can extract the templates right so i'm just going to click on right click on this and i'm going to extract the template all right so once you've been able to open up the file that you just downloaded all right so you can see here that this is the one we are looking for you see we have so many um so many files here but the one we are looking for is the one that asks them 
XML document. You can see this is the XML document. So this is the one that you want to make use of. This is the actual template that we want to make use of for our website. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on copy files to clipboard and I'm going to go over to my desktop right now and I'm going to paste that in there. So I'm just going to go over to my desktop and I'm going to paste in the file that I just copied, right? So I'm just going to click on paste. So you can see I already have the, um, you know, the templates file already here on my laptop. So what I need to do right now is I need to go back to my blogger back end. You can see here is my website back end. And what I need to do right now is I want to come over to team. Okay, click on the team icon here. So once you click on team, you want to actually change the team. Okay, so you want to change the team from something looking like this to something that looks like this, right? So this is actually what we want to work with. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on um this one here that says customize you want to click on the drop down menu and what you want to do is you want to click on restore so once you click on restore automatically it's going to be asking you that you need to pick the team file from your computer so you want to click on upload right so once you click on upload what you need to do right now is you want to find where you have the templates already downloaded into so for me it's on my desktop device so i'm just going to click on you can see it here i already have it i'm going to click on this one here and i'm going to click on open so as i click on open this automatically would get imputed into my back end all right and once this has been actually um, uploaded successfully you can see that it has been uploaded what i need to do right now is i need to go back to my blogger website so what i need to do right now is i need to refresh the website to see what it looks like all right so you can see that our old website is now having a good look so you can see this is actually what the website is looking like right now so what we need to do is this is where i'm going to be teaching you how to do a whole lot of editing stuff because you don't want to make use of this template right because so many people might use this template and you might actually want to create a website that actually stands out from the majority so what we need to do right now is we are going to go over to the editing phase where i'm going to be teaching you how to edit everything to make it look unique special and fits your business so what we want to do right now is we want to go back to our website back end which is this place and the next thing you want to do is you can see where we have the layout so you want to click on layout all right so the first thing we want to do right now is we want to change the logo okay you can see the logo here is basically um sole use we want to change this logo all right so what we want to do right now is you're going to come over to this place where it says the header logo and you want to click on the pencil icon here all right and what you want to do right now is you need to change the logo okay so for you to be able to change the logo all you need to do is you want to click on upload image from computer so i recommend you actually get your logo designed on canva right so you can use canva to basically design your logo so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to design a logo here on canva all right so you can see that i already have this logo already designed here on canva actually in case you're asking how do you get to know the actual size of your logo what should the size be in all right so it's very easy for you to actually know that all you need to do is to come back to the demo website okay and what you want to do is you want to just click on right click on this and you want to click on inspect right so if you click on inspect automatically you're going to be finding every properties concerning this logo the size the colors and everything you need to know so you can see that the image size is basically 154 by 38 so the height is 38 and the width is 154 so that is actually what you want to create your logo in so your logo should be around the size so if your logo is above the size you might actually get a big looking logo which i don't recommend so make sure you go with the actual size of the logo that you have on your template so very easy so what i need to do right now i'm going to go over to canva okay and show you guys how to do it all right so here on canva what you want to do right now you want to click on create a new design so click on create a new design and what you want to do is you want to come down a little bit and you want to click on custom size okay so please make sure that the logo you're creating is basically having the same length size with the one on the template right so the width is going to be 154 remember that and the height is going to be 38 right so i'm going to put in 38 and you can see we're going to be making it centimeter that you want to click on create new design so this is actually where you're going to be designing your logo and making sure that your logo fits your business or fits the reason why you want to create a website so you can see that this actual size is almost the same or should i say it is the same of the logo we have on the template so once you've been able to create your own good looking logo so for me i already have my logo you can see what my logo looks like on the screen so i'm making sure this video is not as lengthy uh you know as small as should be right so i already designed my logo here on canva right so you can see it for yourself here on my screen so what i'm going to do i'm going to head back to my blogger back end right i'm going to come back to my blogger back end and what i want to do is i'm going to upload the logo 
put into my website so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come over here please make sure you have it on upload image from computer then you want to click on choose file so once you click on choose file all you need to do is you need to look for where the logo has been downloaded into so for me i think here is my logo so you can see i'm just going to click on open it up then what i'm going to do right now is please make sure you have it as instead of title and description please make sure it is on instead of title and description then once you've been able to do that you can see that the logo is going to appear here on your computer then you want to click on save so once you click on save automatically this actually has been saved already on your website so you want to go back to your website and you want to basically refresh this to see what it looks like so you can see that our logo now is now appearing on the website so you can successfully will be able to change the logo so it is very easy and very simple just go over to canva input the same image size create a good looking logo come back here on your back end all you need to do is to input it and you're going to be having a good logo that looks like this so you can see our logo here is at mastery and service I actually crafted this out for the purpose of this video so what we want to do right now is we want to make sure that we edit all of the menus that we can find you can see we have the whole menu the services the counter information project reviews and block all those things you might not need them right but for the ones that we need we're going to be working with the home page we're going to work with the block page we're going to be working also with the review page and also we're going to be working with the stock page for those of you who would like to sell something on your website you want to sell a service you want to sell a product or you want to sell anything exactly you need to sell something right and i'm going to be showing you how to integrate a store here on your website absolutely for free so let's go into our back end and let's go edit some things so what i'm going to do is you can see where we have the scrolling menu please you want to make sure you click on this pencil icon okay once you click on the pencil icon you can see all the menus that we have on our website are being displayed here so what you want to do right now is you want to remove the one you don't want to make use of so for me i'm not making use of information i'm going to remove information i'm going to remove counter i'm going to remove project right i'm going to um okay i'm going to leave the service page i'm going to leave the home page i'm going to leave the review page i'm also going to leave the blog page all right so for me i'm going to be leaving all those things and what i need to do right now is i'm going to click on save okay so once i click on save i'll be go back to our website and refresh this okay you would realize that many of the menus have disappeared all right so you can see we have only just four menus so we have the home menu the service menu the reviews and also the blog right so you can see that has actually been solved appropriately so let's say we want to add up our store menu to this place where people can click on and they get access to our stocks all we need to do is we need to go back here right and we want to click on the scrolling menu we want to click on the passive icon to open this up again and what we want to do right now is we want to click on add new item so we want to click on add a new item and what you want to do is you want to name your item so your item is going to be store right so we can name that as the store icon we want to click on save all right i'm going to click on save okay so please make sure you follow me because i'm going to be showing you how to integrate it later on in this video but right before we do that we need to make sure that we come back here and change things like the pictures that you can see here on the screen all right so you can see that our menus now have been completed we have the home the service the review the blog and the store so i'm going to come back here and teach you guys how to integrate your link into all those menus but right before we do that i'm going to show you how to edit this thing. let's say you want to change the image that you are basically seeing here so you want to change this image here all right and you want to change it the text that you are seeing here. how do you get to change it it is very easy and very simple to change all you need to do is to come back to your back end and once you are here on your back end you can see where we have the main intro okay you can see click on the person icon here and once you've been able to click on the person icon you're going to be having some text being displayed here and you can see the image that we want to change is also being displayed here so what you want to do is you want to edit this to your preference what i'm going to do right now i'm just going to edit this and make it look unique right so for the purpose of this video i'm just going to show you guys i'm just going to add in some few things just to show you guys how easy it is to edit the home page right so you can see generate more traffic on the website i can be like by doing this all right so this is actually what it's going to look like then i can leave this one as the way it is then you can see where we have the image icon we want to change this image icon you want to come over to upload from computer then you want to click on choose file so what you need to do right now is you need to find the image you want to upload so for me i actually have the image already but for you it can be anything in time you can just go over to canva and create a good looking image for yourself or you can download images from website like pixels pixabay miss kit and all of that just to make sure you have a good looking picture that basically fits your website so i'm going to click on open so i actually designed those um you know this image here from canva right from canva 
I was able to design that image. So you can also use Canva to download um to create your own image, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this to basically show up. And once this shows up, I'm going to click on save. So once you click on save, automatically it's being saved. So you're going to go back to your website and you want to refresh and see what it looks like. So let's quickly refresh and see what it looks like right here. All right, so you guys, you can see this actually what it is looking like, right? So you can see it is making sense already. So you just going to be playing around to make sure you edit everything that you want to edit for yourself. And also I'm going to teach you how you can edit this section. So let's say you want to edit the, the testimonial section. All you need to do is to go back to the back end. And once you're here on your back end, all you need to do is you want to do is want to go down a little bit and you can see where it says what our clients see. You want to click on this icon here. All right, we want to click on the icon and you can basically change this to testimonials, right? It can be like testimonials. It doesn't really matter what you want to put in there, but you can actually change it to your preference, right? So I can like testimonials and then I can type in here. All right, so you can do anything like this. Then what you want to do is want to click on save. So everything that you are basically editing, please make sure that you are saving it up. So it's very easy and very simple to do. So this is actually just where you're going to be doing all the editing to make sure that your website is different from the ones you downloaded or from the ones that you basically saw online, right? So you're going to click on save. You're going to come back here and we're going to refresh this to see what it looks like. All right, so you can see that the um the settings has been already made. So you can see testimonials. This is what our clients are seeing. So very easy and very simple. So if you want to change this once as well, you can also change that by coming over to your back end and you can see them here. We have all those testimonials. We have them here. You can just click on personal icon to edit everything that you want to edit. So for me, I'm not going to waste my time teaching you how to do this because it's very easy and I believe you can do it on your own. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to teach you how to integrate your store yeah on this page and also how to start writing blog posts so let's say you want to write a blog post you want to start creating content online that you can monetize right i'm going to show you how to do that here on your website so for you to be able to integrate your store link directly here on your website all you need to do is first and foremost you need a link to your store so let's say you have a store or you have a product that you want to basically promote okay you need to find the link so for me i'm just going to be teaching you how to integrate the amazon store Store, right so i'm going to teach you how to integrate amazon into your website so i'm going to just get the link to the official amazon site so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to get the official link to the amazon site i'm going to copy this one here right so you want to make sure you have your store link first once you have your store link all you need to do is to go to your back end and where you have the scrolling menu please make sure you open up that okay and you want to go over to the store you can see the store is the last one you want to click on the pencil icon to edit it and what you want to do is you can see where you have the site url please make sure you just put in the store link okay we we'll click on the panel once you put in the store link so please make sure you put in the store link and once you put in the store link all you need to do is you want to click on save okay then you want to click on save again okay so now just to be able to do that all we need to do is to go back to our website let's refresh this and let's see if we can get to amazon directly from our website all right so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to click on the store you can see the store link i'm going to click on the store link and let's see what happens all right so you can see successfully we've been able to integrate our store directly from our website so for those of you who would actually want to use a website to save um outfit product or maybe you have um something that you want to redirect people to you can see it's very easy for you to integrate it here on your website absolutely for free so once you've been able to accomplish that i'm going to be teaching you how to start writing blogs for your website very easy and very simple to do so quickly let's go and start writing blog posts for our website so what we're going to do right now i'm going to go back to my back end okay i here on my back and what i need to do is i need to click on create new post so click on create new post all right so once you are here for me i'm just going to um go over to google and just search for random um uh, you know blog post that i can copy and paste just to teach you guys how easy it is so what i did right now was that i went over to google and i just copied the post you can see this uh this website here all i did was just copy the articles okay and i copied it and i came over to my blog post here and actually paste that in there but for you please make sure you have your genuine content so once you've been able to write your blog post and you're ready to publish it then you want to make sure you have a label so a label is basically um you know like a tag okay just to tell your audience okay this website or this blog post is related to this so i'm just going to give it the label 
website writing because the article itself is all about how to rank your website so i'm not going to put in website ranking i'm going to click on publish so once this has confirmed this please that once this has been published you're going to be getting a notification that your blog has been published so you can see it's published already what we need to do is we can come back to our website we want to click on refresh so as you click on refresh you can see that this is going to be refreshed and we're going to be having our blog post display on the website all right so you can see that we have our blog post already displayed on the website very easy and very simple to do so once we click on the blog post you can see that it's going to bring us over to this place where people can start reading our blogs and they can find out more information from us okay so that has been settled already the next thing i'm going to teach you how to do is also how to um add a service page so let's say you want to add a service page so if you want to add a service page it is very very easy because if you click on the service menu here you're going to be redirected to nowhere so what you want to do is you want to come back to your back end and the next thing you want to do is you can come over to this place where we have the pages so click on pages then you can actually get your service page um you know article written for you by chat gpt so for me i'm going to do copy and paste because i already have chat gpt already helped me write my own service page you can actually do that by using chat gpt to generate your service page right then i'm going to click on publish so once i click on publish i'm going to click on confirm all right so you can see that that's been published already so what you want to do right now is you can see where we have those um icon that says view so click on this icon to basically view this okay so let's see what the service page looks like so this is actually what our service page looks like so what we need to do is we want to grab the url to this service page you want to copy this right click on copy you want to come back to your back end okay and once you're on your back end you want to go over to the layout okay so click on layout and the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the scrolling menu click on the best web icon then what you want to do is you want to find the service page here you can see the service page click on the edit icon then you want to paste in the url that you just copied so very easy you want to click on save and you want to click on save again so once that has been saved already let's quickly go back to our website let's refresh this and let's see what happens all right so you can see what we need to write down if we click on the service menu you can see it's going to take us over to our service page where people can basically find more information concerning us so you can see this very easy and very simple to do very easy and very very simple so once you've been able to do this okay and let's say you want to edit all those things that you are seeing on this page all this um you know side view thing that you are seeing maybe you don't like them or you want to add in some things for yourself just simple go back to your back end kit and once you are here on the back end you can see everything here all you need to do is you want to remove everything that you don't need for yourself so for me you can see the popular post I'm going to leave that there for the project i'm just going to um, click on the person icon i'm going to close this because i don't need it being displayed on my website and you can see here where we have to subscribe also i'm going to also click on this i'm going to remove this because i don't want this displayed on my website so everything you don't want displayed on your website you can actually remove it here from your back end very easy and very simple to do correct so once you've been able to create your website and you are happy with what you're looking at so you can see we've been able to create a good looking website absolutely for free and within a few minutes right you can see we have our blog post here so you can keep on writing your blog post you can keep on you know writing you can keep on sharing your website with your friends and family tell them what you do right now and your stuff like that so if you want to basically edit anything it is very easy to do just go over to your back end changing everything that you want to change in here and you're good to go so let's say you want to change in the name of your website remember i took you can actually change the name so if you don't want to use the name you're making use of right now and you want to edit it it's very simple all you need to do is you click on the settings icon and once you're here on the settings icon you can see where we have the title so you can basically change this for yourself so let's say you want to change this to anything you can do the editing right now and you can click on save so for me i'm going to leave it as random right so once you've been able to do that the next thing you want to do is please if you want to change your favicon so your favicon is basically the icon being displayed close to your website name if you want to change that it is very easy for you to do all you need to do is to click on the favicon icon once you click on favicon icon then you need to choose a file so you can go over to canva and you can design a favicon for yourself so your favicon can be anything entirely so once you've been able to pick the image all you need to do is to click on open and you're going to save this up and it's going to get displayed on your website it is very easy for you to do that as well all right so that is actually what it takes for you to create a good looking website absolutely for free so please make sure you know that i might not be able to cover a whole lot 
of the editing, the designs and everything here with this video. But that is the basic you need to understand. I just shared with you the basic to everything that you need to understand for you to start creating a good looking website for yourself. It is very easy and very simple to do, right? So once you are playing around with the back end, you're going to be finding so many things to edit, so many things to change. And for those of you who would actually want to ask me questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. So if you actually want to learn how you can start making money from your website absolutely for free, you can subscribe to the channel because in my subsequent videos i'm going to be showing you how i was able to monetize those website and making me money for myself on autopilot so make sure you subscribe okay and if you like this video please make sure you smash the like button in appreciation and i'll see you in my next video until then take care of yourself and bye